Hello, visual learners. We're back with another Color With Me video from Memory Farm's Top 200 Drugs Made Easy Coloring Book, going over the class of proton pump inhibitors. So if you're ready, let's color and learn. Have you ever had heartburn? It is a hot, burning feeling in the middle of your chest that can be painful and it gets worse after you eat or lie down. It's not exactly a heart attack, but sometimes it sure feels like one. Well friends, you're in the right place to learn about proton pump inhibitors. The drugs in this class all in the suffix prazole, such as pantoprazole, omeprazole, esomeprazole, lansoprazole, dexalansoprazole, rabeprazole, you get the gist. These medications are used to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, a condition where stomach acid leaks into your esophagus and this causes the symptoms of heartburn. It is also used for dyspepsia, a big word meaning indigestion, as well as conditions where there are ulcers or irritation in the lining of the esophagus, such as peptic ulcer disease, H. pylori infections, and erosive esophagitis. Some contraindications to keep in mind. Proton pump inhibitors have been linked to increased risk of infections such as C. difficile associated diarrhea and pneumonia. The reason for this may be that there is increased bacterial overgrowth in the stomach due to a change in acidity. Patients who are immunocompromised such as diabetic patients seem to have a higher risk of the side effect. Osteoporosis related fractures have also been linked to long term use of PPIs. But how do they work? There are proton pumps in the parietal cells of the stomach also called hydrogen potassium ATPase pump. Proton pump inhibitors work by binding irreversibly to these pumps and preventing acid secretion. By decreasing stomach acid, they reduce reflux symptoms in GERD and promote healing of ulcer and erosions in those with peptic ulcer disease and erosive esophagitis. These medications are strong and work well. However, they do come with side effects. Use the mnemonic ACID to help you remember the side effects. A is for abdominal pain such as nausea and diarrhea. C is for C. difficile infection, a bad type of diarrhea. I is for interstitial nephritis, a rare acute hypersensitivity reaction. D is for a decrease in vitamin B12 and magnesium with prolonged use. This is because gastric acid is needed to release vitamin B12 from protein for absorption. PPS can reduce the absorption of protein-bound vitamin B12. Now moving on to clinical pearls and counseling points. You want to counsel your patients to take this medication 15 to 20 minutes before the first meal of the day for best efficacy. An eight week course is recommended for GERD symptoms and to heal erosions, so patients should take the full course of therapy prescribed even if symptoms get better. Drug interactions, drug interactions. PPIs can interact with medications that need an acidic environment to be absorbed into the bloodstream, such as ketoconazole. The way around this is that you take ketoconazole with an acidic drink. However, PPIs may also interact with a blood thinner called Plavix or Clopidogrel by preventing CYP2C19 from working as well and decreasing its effectiveness. The FDA recommends pantoprazole as an alternative due to the weaker CYP2C19 inhibition. Alright guys, let's take a minute to review because repetition is key. When thinking about the class of proton pump inhibitors, think of a proton pump as your visual anchor, specifically a hydrogen potassium ATPase pump. What is this pump doing? As you can see here, the pump is pumping out hydrogen ions or acid. This pump uses ATP hydrolysis to transport hydrogen protons in exchange for potassium ions, resulting in a buildup of acid in the stomach. So what do proton pump inhibitors do? As the name implies, it irreversibly binds to these proton pumps and prevents acid secretion. And what are these medications used for? That's right, conditions where a reduction in stomach acid is needed, such as GERD, dyspepsia, peptic ulcer disease, H. pylori infection, and erosive esophagitis. For side effects, think proton pump inhibitors help with acid buildup. What does acid stand for? A stands for abdominal pain, that's right, including nausea and diarrhea. These symptoms are mild and usually resolve on their own. C stands for C. difficile infection. If diarrhea is persistent and doesn't resolve, make sure to counsel your patients to contact their healthcare provider. I is for interstitial nephritis, a rare acute hypersensitivity reaction. And D is for, yep, D is for decreases in vitamin B12 and magnesium levels. All right, some key points to keep in mind. In patients diagnosed with GERD and peptic ulcers, an eight-week course is recommended for relief of symptoms. It is important to counsel your patients to take this medication when, yes, 
take it 15 to 20 minutes before the first meal of the day for optimal control of daytime gastric acidity. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, click the subscribe button for more. Let me know if you have questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. If you are interested in getting more information from our Top 200 Drugs Made Easy coloring book, I will leave a link to the product below in the description and I will see you in the next review.